Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 14 of my full platinum walkthrough for Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin Edition. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, I have a lot of souls. That's because I have gone and done some farming. I've done, uh, I've got 10 more kills up at the Belfries, and I have 8 more Sunlight Medals. So I have been doing it, uh, so I would advise you definitely do it as well in between uh, sort of videos if you're waiting for a new one, if you're uh, following along as we're doing this. Just do the farming, clean it up. So I'm just going to get a few levels with this one. Uh, do some vitality, strength, and then I should be able to... Um, yeah, this is when I change to the gauntlets as well. Uh, so I've got the full Faram armor at that point. Uh, at the end of this video, so in between uh, this one and the one after this one, I get all 30 Sunlight Medals and um, all of the Belfry kills as well. So I'll be fully done with the farming by the beginning of the next video, but as long as you have it done by the end of this playthrough, this first playthrough, you'll be fine. I'm not going to go and collect the spells until we finish or get towards the end and do a cleanup. So you've got plenty of time, but uh, if you want to sort of follow along exactly, then you're going to need to go and get the souls to sort of match what I'm getting. I'm getting like 100,000 a time. It's 200,000 altogether, I think, so it's quite a few. Uh, right, let's get on with this main bit here. We're going to Shrine of Amana. Amana, let's go with that. Um, I don't like this place. I remember doing the recording this. I remember reminding myself why I really don't like this place. So I've just gone to the side here. I killed that one guy. Uh, be careful of not sliding on the off the cliff when you hit him because he is right close to the edge. So uh, you can see it's very slippy. This place. It doesn't look slippy, but it just feels like you fall off edges easier. Uh, hit that branch again. Watch out for the edge. Uh, we'll get that afterwards. We'll go right down to the floor. So most of this place, this area, is covered in knee-deep water and there are just sharp drops within the water that you can't see that easily. Uh, this is a, an enemy here. He's kind of a, a main enemy for this area. There's quite a few of these guys. You can tell by the, the sort of sparkles where they are. That is, uh, you're going to see them later. There's going to be a lady that's singing. Uh, that's what's causing the sparkles above them to kind of let you know where they are. Uh, so we're just going to go around this way. Whenever you are going through water like this, stick to the side of rocks. Uh, this bit's okay. There's, there's nothing you can fall through here. But stick to the side of rocks. So that's the thing that I, the body that I hit from the, uh, the top before. Uh, yeah, and always travel back the same path you know is safe. Because all of a sudden there will just be a drop. Another thing is, if you don't know it's safe, always look at the floor as you're kind of walking through water. Uh, these guys as well, these are the other main enemy for this area. They are a pain. These are Running through here in New Game Plus is a, the worst. <laughs> Not because of these ones that are hiding in the water, they're fine. It's these, these white clerics here. Uh, they hit very hard and there's usually more than one at a time. And they have a shield that they always hold up. So you're going to bounce off if you try and hit them. And the only open, they're very quick as well, so the only opening they kind of give you is uh, when they're about to hit you. And if there's more than one, they can hit you with a combo each, so that's six times. Yeah, you just get used to them. You can see here there's a drop off, you can see the edge there. So you are right, you're really close to the edge most of the time. But uh, if you just follow the same paths that you've already used and you already know, and uh, obviously I'll tell you where edges are as well. So this first part is not actually too bad. This first sort of run. This is not bad at this bit at all. But the enemies get a bit more annoying, let's say. So this this woman here, fully exhaust her dialogue and she'll give you some smooth and silky stone. Or one smooth and silky stone. Now, if you are worried about running out of human effigies, it's important that you talk to her, fully exhaust her dialogue. And do that with all the ones that we meet. Because I'm going to show you a little shrine at the end of this area. Uh, where you can become human again without a human effigy. Uh, very handy if you think you're going to run out. I'm nowhere near running out, so if you're kind of following along with what I'm doing and doing a lot of backup saves, you'll probably not run out either, but if you are worried about it, I'm going to show you where that is. Um, right at the end, right after we've done the boss. Between the this area and the next one, basically. So I'm killing these ones at the side. Uh, with this, when they have the sparkles above them, they're usually okay to just run past them. Uh, as long as you don't go too close to them, you stick to the land, you should be okay. But, might as well just get them out of the way. Uh, when we know where, we're there, where they are, so we don't get followed. 
So we're getting their attention. You can just watch now. There's two of them. So they have... They're so quick. <laughs> now that wasn't too bad. But later on, uh, they're so quick. And then you might be swinging for one. And another one will stand in front of you. And have his shield up. And you'll bounce off it. It's... It, yeah. Especially when in the New Game Plus. When you're just trying to run through the area. And get through as quickly as possible. And you can't just run off to the edge. And run round where they are. Because of the water and the drop-offs. You have to stick to the sort of stony land here. Otherwise you're in knee deep water. You can't run properly. It's just, I hate this place. <laughs> oh God. Right, so yeah, there's a few more. You can see them in the water. You see that you can just run past them for the most part. Another one here, but there is a chest here as well. Dragon charm, which um, that's poison, cures poison and health. Gives you more health. Quite rare, so I don't rely on them at all because I'm not <laughs> can't guarantee you will have them either. Lots of sparkles here. Uh, you'll recognise these. These are the ones that used to do acid here. They do the orange mist that breaks your equipment and your uh, your armor and your rings. So we're going to be watching out for those and staying away from them. Four more. You can see they just don't really move until you go for them. But uh, in here is some Twinkling Titanite, so if you need that, there you go. Almost at a point where I can fully upgrade this weapon by the end of this video. Uh, there is a random drop I try and get, but I don't get it. Hopefully you do, and then you can fully upgrade it. Or maybe you've been getting it from uh, Petrified some things, getting the Dragon Bones from those. Uh, yeah, so this is where things get a bit more annoying. <laughs> So here's a bonfire, definitely sit at this, definitely rest here, because uh, there's uh, things coming up. And you'll need to obviously manage your uh, weapon health if you're using this butcher's knife as well. Should have plenty of um, repair powder by now though. So here's another mix, another amazing thing to put into the mix, which is mages. They die very easily, it's just two hits, they'll be dead, but they are every everywhere, and the spell that they do tracks you like crazy it, it really does you can dodge it at the last moment as you can see i'm doing now and it won't but from a distance it will track you all the time and they will just keep going so you can see there's a big guy there and there's these in the water everywhere they don't have the sparkles on them so they are active now and they're everywhere you can see there's one just to the left there there's another mage there there's another mage just past that mage You've also got to worry about edges. You're okay in this middle bit where I am, where the flowers are and everything. But if you run off to the left-hand side, you're going to fall down. Again, you run off to the right-hand side, you're going to fall down. So it kind of funnels you through, almost like a bottleneck, to go and take on all the enemies. You can see there's one right down there at the back near that uh, column. I should, at this point, just go and run for her. But um, you've got the big guy there, if you remember seeing him a minute ago. Didn't want him to follow me, so I'm going to actually go and do him first. I was hoping the mage wouldn't be able to get me from back there, but they can. Maybe I'm just making this area more difficult than it actually needs to be. I don't know. I just know whenever there's water involved in any game, <laughs> it's never fun. Or random blind drops that you can't see. So this is one of the stronger ones, obviously, with the club. I was trying to go for it and uh, just finish him off. But I think, no, just shy there. Just that one hit away. And, of course, there's more spells coming my way. <laughs> right, that's done. Let's go and get this mage. No, nope, didn't drop anything. So there is another one uh, to the right of this one I'm going for now as well. And then there's another one that's directly ahead of the one to the right. <laughs> they just they sort of chain them together. You can see it there at the back. They just chain them together. The further you go, the more mages there are. So you kind of just have to know where they are and just go and clean them out. You can see at the back there, just there's a dragon rider right at the back. 
Uh, we will go. I will go and kill him. I will cut out the fight though. It is just a normal dragon rider fight. We've done it several times now. Uh, it does take a while though. He has quite a lot of health. The reason I do kill it is that there's a random chance he'll drop a uh, petrified dragon bone. He doesn't. This time at least. He did in my practice, unfortunately. Uh, so, But not this time. But never mind. We'll get more. There's plenty of more. I just wanted to have it done, that's all. Uh, quick use use of a forest lock here. A lock stone for a, the helix halberd, if you're into that. You can try that weapon. Give that a go. Plenty of weapons to uh, try out. Don't have to stick with the one I'm using. Now we'll actually go and uh, do that Dragon Rider fight. Uh, again, it's there are drops where the, the Dragon Rider is actually on a bridge, but you can't see that until you're on the bridge yourself. So most of this is okay, just kind of following this way, but as soon as you go off to the left or right, it's just sheer drops, like dead ahead there is just a drop. So you can see there's actually a bridge there, and it's a drop on either side. So, of course, get his, uh, get his attention and then run back. Uh, you can see just past him there's some branches and there's a door behind there. You can't open the, the door there until you've killed Vendrick. Uh, Vendrick's soul is in there. You know, boss soul. That's where his boss soul is. Um, it's not important for the platinum or anything. We may come back and get it. Uh, I think it's worth about 50,000, so it can be worth coming back for. But you need to have killed him first. So I'm going to just skip this out. Just stay on this uh, platform where it's... Uh, where you're easy, able to easily roll. Don't go in the water and try and fight this guy. It'll just be annoying. And uh, yeah, just take him down. Hopefully you get petrified dragon bone. But chances are you, might, you won't. A bit disappointing, but never mind. Another one of these. You can see at the top there we're actually going to get an Estus flash shard. Don't need him anymore. We have 11, the maximum of 11 upgrades. Uh, but if you missed one or whatever, there is another one. And in New Game Plus, you can still pick them up, but they're just completely redundant. You can't do anything with them. Just trying to wait for those spells to come through. And uh, then we're going to do one of the the worst walking parts, sort of not knowing where we're going, this bit coming up. Walking into the unknown. You can see one of those hippo guys there, of course, because that's he'd be nice and fun to fight in knee deep water as well. Uh, yeah, we're going over there for the sun sunlight blade miracle. That's the reason we've got to go. It's off to the left hand side. Don't go any further there. That's a drop as well. So again, if you're ever fighting any sort of big enemy or any enemy really, bring them to dry land so you can roll properly. But yeah, that's a grab. So fighting these guys. I don't think we have since the beginning. I don't think we've actually fought another one of these, have we? Um, yeah, that that thing it did first is a grab that will kill you instantly. It, well, it won't be instant. It'll bite your head, but it will kill you. Um, the main thing they do is kind of a, a triple sweep. Uh, this is a good thing to do is get behind them, force them to sit down. Uh, there is an AOE you can't really see, but there is one there. Uh, so don't stand directly behind them. But if you're able to just get them to chain the, the sitting down, then you'll be fine. This is the thing they do most, that kind of one, two, and then body slam. That's good, because it gives you quite an, a good window to attack them. There's also the one, two, three, normal. Need my repair powder now. <laughs> Always have it ready to go. Yeah, so one, two, three, this should be the one where we finish him. Yeah, we're going to be fighting a lot of those guys shortly in quite a narrow building, inside a building. Uh, yeah, they're not too bad. You can do them all one, one at a time, but they are together. So at this point now, follow the columns on the left side here. Follow the grass. If there's grass, you're fine as well. And also use the red markings where people have died if you're online. Uh, but when you get to this point, you can see there's a drop to the right-hand side. There is also a drop to the left-hand side if you go too far so stick to the columns because you can see that there is land there yeah there you can see there's a drop to the uh, the right don't stay on the right anymore switch over to the left because it's not on the, you can see it's getting really narrow now it is literally <laughs> on both sides it's, it's a very sharp drop now two mages because why not that's fun isn't it 
go for the furthest one, why not? Again, very narrow, so watch out. This one here is right on the edge. You'll be able to see. So just one hit will knock them off. Don't do a <laughs> uh, a combo or anything. Just one hit. Knock them off the edge and leave it at that. Etta's flask and then walk very carefully towards this edge and look for this uh, chest. And that's your sunlight blade. Miracle. Now, just as carefully walk back. Keep looking down the whole time and don't rush it. This one, don't go on the left hand side, you'll fall straight off. Just stick to sort of centre of the column and then look left or right, see if it's clear and then just carry on. And then when you've got to the red and the grass then you're okay again. But yeah, don't rush it. Because <laughs> you don't want to have to fight all those enemies again, all those mages sorcerers and then we're going to go through the building so we don't drop off any edges uh, there is a summon in here <laughs> uh, it do, don't matter if it doesn't matter if you're human uh, not human and you can't summon this guy lone hunter schmidt he dies very shortly because he well, i don't know what happens to him to be honest he must have just uh succumb to the edges himself he just kind of I've, I've, I've run off to try and fight these guys in a minute and he just falls off and dies and we get the, the notification that he's gone home <laughs> so yeah don't worry about it he's not here for long he doesn't do anything but <laughs> he fires one arrow completely misses and then kills himself um, yeah he can come, come in handy if you're able to sort of guide him around and get him down here to help it can be helpful because there are, uh, like I mentioned before, the two at a time. Plus, there he goes. <laughs> He's been vanquished. He must have fallen off. Uh, yes, yeah, so you get this one at a time here. Just one on his own here. They're fine. One on one on their own is fine. Just wait for that little opening and go for it. I'm just waiting for the to run past as they... There we go. Because it is deep there. Which is just the worst. Putting the little deep bit just before the enemy. There's another mage there, you can just see stood in the water not doing anything. That one is not, you can see I'm going to swing now and I'm going to hit somebody's shield and they're just straight, yeah, there's another thing. <laughs> straight away they're on you and they are quick and you'll go to swing and they'll have a shield up like that and you'll just bounce off it. <laughs> um, yeah, the one in the water is a healer, they don't ever attack you there you can see another one, just straight up, shield. I don't know how he had the shield up, he was, he was mid-attack himself. Right, one down, that's all we need. And then when they do that, that leaves them open as well. Uh, yeah, the one in the water is a, a healer, they don't attack, they just heal uh, and back away. So you want to get rid of them pretty sharpish, to be honest. Or, like I did, just drag them away from the, the healer. Uh, that's the way we need to go. I'm just going to go this way quickly. If you want to do this, it's up to you. You don't need to. But there is a life ring plus two. Uh, the life ring is the one that you can equip and it will um, give you more health. So if you want that, it's here. But you will have to fight a big uh, rhino, cyclops, hippo thing in water as well. Or you could just go and run for it if you really wanted to and chance it. But I probably wouldn't. If you want to do a backup save outside this cave, run in, grab it, then yeah, try that out, to be honest, if you don't want to fight this thing. Because yeah, we're in water, so obviously everything's slowed down. Not taking any chances, I do know there's a, a bonfire coming up in a moment. So yeah, you can use your Estus flasks, just a couple more enemies. Uh, one more mage after this, and then it's uh, bonfire time. I think we're going to get the, the sit-down AoE. So yeah, you can see I was I'm rolling as well. Uh, it completely takes your wind out of you as well, which is the, the bigger problem. And there, there we go. Some fruit. I'm sure that will come in handy. <laughs> uh, yeah, life ring and a singer's dress if you want to wear that. <laughs> That's up to you. But now we'll uh, carry on. Yes, you will remember this. This area will become very familiar 
when you try and do it in New Game Plus. Trying to run through here because you can't just run it. You have to take everybody on because there's a fog gate here um, and they'll, they'll just kill you before you even get through the fog. So you have to fight them. So we'll try and use the um, the summon in New Game Plus and hopefully he doesn't die straight away. I mean, the way this, this area looks is great. I mean, if it didn't have the water everywhere, it probably would be fine. But it's the water that just pushes it over the edge. And you as well, most of the time. <laughs> so to the side of this, the cave now, if you go round there and stick very close to the wall's edge, you'll find an item. Don't go for the further item. You will fall and die. It's a trap. It makes you think you can get to it, but you can't. You have to go round this uh, this cave here to get to it. But I, I don't go and get it because I don't want to fall off and die. Um, it's nothing important, so don't worry about it. There is the uh, orange cloud that they do. So watch out for that. There's just a row of four of these guys. You could run past them, to be honest, and just go and get the bonfire. Another summon here. This one's very handy for... I would actually bring this one. Um, this is the one you would use for the boss. I would probably recommend not bringing it in for the boss. It doesn't make any difference to the boss. Uh, it's easy enough without. But what she is handy for is killing that big thing at the back there. So you don't have to take any uh, damage. Not damage, but your, your equipment doesn't get degraded. But of course she's going to come and fight these four down here because they've come back. get rid of those and send her on away for the big one and uh, yeah she doesn't last out either she's more helpful for the area leading up to the boss than the actual boss her, uh, itself but unfortunately she falls off the edge as well usually she doesn't but she gets pushed off by two of those uh, clerics um, so she doesn't last very long either unfortunately so yeah just stand back let them fight so you don't get your uh, equipment all messed up. And then this bit, it looks pretty harmless, but you can see there's two clerics in the middle, there's a mage on each side, and there's a mage at the back, and there's a healer in the middle. So, I would actually advise going for the mage on the left. After doing this again now, go for the one on the left, then come back round for the right. Uh, the reason I, I tried not doing the left one this time is that um, you will get invaded, but you will have Felicia with you, so it's going to be okay. But at this point, you can see she's getting pushed back there. She's about to get pushed off the edge, which is uh, unfortunate because she didn't even kill one of these guys. I really could have done with that. And there she goes. You see, just holding the shield up the whole time, I, can't, I just can't break through. And then, of course, there's a healer here. So I'm just going to retreat back to the cave. Uh, see if we can split them up. And it does work. They uh, retreat back. Yeah, so whenever you feel like you're in trouble, you can run away. Uh, and there will be an invisible wall that they sort of can't cross or won't cross. So you get them one at a time. One at a time, they're completely fine. Especially when they do that move. Uh, the shield again. <laughs> Finally. So you've got this one here. You've got that one in the middle. Well, that's just a healer, so you don't need to worry about that. But I would just wait around. Once you've killed this one, you will get invaded. Uh, don't run after him. You'll see him. Here he is. Peculiar Kindler. Kindler. Uh, let him come to you. There is one of those things in the water down there. Uh, again, he's a mage. Uh, uses dark as well. So he's got a variety. Uh, if you can, I'm what I'm trying to do here is get him close to the edge so I can just push him off the edge, but he, he swing, uh, rolls past. Unfortunately, that one hurt, and that was with the shield up. But yeah, he is quite easy. He's quite... Um, doesn't have much health, so once you can get uh, a load of hits in, you should be able to get rid of him pretty quickly. 
and then we've just got the healer left uh, clean up round here there is a petrified dragon bone here so make sure you grab that and then the most importantly there's going to be a spell this is the dragon bone this will be here for you and then the one at the back will be as well and then there's got the other stuff just random drops from the enemies uh, yeah and then this that's this area done yeah watch out for the edge don't get, don't go uh, just running around that corner uh, yeah that's essentially this area done uh, we're just going to go and do the boss now and then there's kind of a little bit afterwards where I will show you um, that temple where you can go and turn yourself human without humanity uh, without human effigy there's the other item from round the other side you can if you want to go and creep it just stick close to the wall don't need I think it's like a this large soul of a proud knight or something it's nothing important and it's just not worth dying for for definite after fighting all these guys it's gonna be another one of these singers in here so just go and a bit of a, a dip, bit different this one interact with her to disappear and then we'll go for the boss uh, yeah this is a, this is a weird design boss it really is it's a big frog um, the only part you can hurt this one is its face it will do that and when it does that you can't hurt it so don't go try and attack him just wait for it to open back up again see what attack it's going to do if it does uh, that just that's a grab so obviously watch out for that just back away run in get your two three four hits whatever it will only do one attack and then it will cover up again one attack cover up you just got to find out what it is so this slam's a good one just a double slam and then run in the one you need to watch out for is the one it's about to do now because it reaches really far <laughs> Uh, yeah, obviously try and run off to the side, but it will track you to the side as well. The grab or the other slam is the best thing. Unfortunately, hit the top there is the best thing for it to do. Uh, you can understand why um, a summon's not really going to help. Giving this guy more help, uh, health does not make a difference. Um, you don't need. It's just going to just keep. You want it to face you basically. You don't want a distraction, and you don't want it to have more health. So that's why we're not bothered about the summon dying on this one. Just one more would have done it. There we go, let's go. No, just two more, that's right. Uh, yeah, we get the slam. Yeah, any other attack it would have been fine, but it did the, uh, the leaping up. Right, so you're going to see I'm going to get the key to the embedded. Uh, you remember in the top of Drang Lake Castle there was that weird guy strapped to a cage? That's the key. It's actually a sword uh, that opens up that cage. And there's one of those singers in there. Um, you can go up there and get that random ring if you want. Now I'll just show you this area. That is uh, where you can get your... Get turned human. Now if you do have a lot of human effigies and you don't think you're ever going to run out. Then you don't need to come and do this. Because you can't use this ability, this... Uh, becoming human without a human effigy unless you don't have you need to not have any human effigies in your inventory at all uh, and you need to be dead so I'm going to have to kill myself to do this um, yeah so once you've run out then you can come and do it here there is a bonfire but you'll also need a branch of your uh, so if you're not bothered about it don't come and do this to be honest just save your branch and uh, yeah, it means you don't have to die as well. So with bonfire here, so you can come back here at any time. I don't know why I'm resting. I'm about to go and kill myself. So it doesn't make any difference. So yes, this was 100% intentional. Just to demonstrate. Uh, I've got plenty of human effigy, so I'll just change back to human afterwards. Obviously, go and get your souls, most importantly. You can go and spend them beforehand if you want to. There is a, this lead up here is actually quite dangerous, to be honest. There's uh, pyromancers. The only time in the game where you have pyromancers. 
This door will not open if you're human. That's why I killed myself. If you were wondering. So these are easy enough, these ones on the floor. I've done these before. But the problem in this area is these pyromancers. If you played the first one, you'll recognize the sort of style they are. They look like the the starter pyromancer from Dark Souls 1. And they are pretty lethal. Easy enough to kill once you get up close, but do watch out for Firestorm if they, they're going to cast that. I'm trying to knock him off the head. The edge, but he was having none of it, and I ran out of stamina. Nearly got the backstab as well. Yeah, so that's Firestorm. If he does that, get the hell out. And do not get caught up in one of those um, upshoots, because you'll just get stuck, and you'll die. <laughs> not that it actually matters at this point, you will be dead. force me. So the ones he's cast there, you can see they just hover until you go near them and then they explode. And he was just about to do Chaos Storm there again, I think. Uh, yeah, so that's that's it. If, if you only want this, um, this is the shrine type thing. There is one of them here. Again, one of the singing women. Uh, exhaust a dialogue with her and she'll give you a divine blessing and the petrified something. Now this is the shrine you would come to to become human if you were dead and didn't have any human effigies. I can't do it because I have plenty. So come here if you need it. This is just a sort of last um, resort. You should be fine without it. So there we get petrified something as well. I will just go down and show you what's down here. Uh, Again, you don't need to do this. If you don't need the fire seed for the pyromancy flame, then don't worry about it. But there is another pyromancer. Try and be a bit more aggressive with this one. Yeah, easy enough. Easy enough once you're up close with them. Yeah, there's a fire seed here, and then there's going to be a weapon just out here, the Manslayer. If you want that, come and get it, but if not, don't bother. <laughs> I'm not going to use it, so you're not missing out. There is an edge right at the back here, so watch out, because it will roll past you and uh, potentially knock you back. And don't get stuck in a combo going past him. Trying to knock him off the head, the edge well, again. He's having none of it. I mean, the lighting still looks good in this game, considering how old it is now as well. <laughs> I'm just looking at it in the water. Then didn't know you don't notice these things when you're actually playing. Uh, so yeah, around here, watch the edge. It is narrow, and you're gonna find a chest. There is nothing else around here. Just had to remind myself of that. Uh, no, there's a chest back here. And then that's it. We're just going to get out. <laughs> very narrow. I think there's a chest at the back there. It's very narrow, so I'm just checking there wasn't one there. I think there's one right at the other end. I just saw that at the corner of my eye then. Um... Not important. I've completed the game many a time with not even coming to this area. So, don't worry. But there is another chest there, I've just noticed. <laughs> I never come here, usually, ever. Because uh, I don't need it. I've got usually got plenty of human effigy, so I don't even uh, use the branch of yore to get through to the bonfire. Because there's a bonfire straight after this anyway. Might as well restore. So yeah, I've got 41. I'm not going to be running out in a hurry. Still going to be getting more of them. Might as well repair. And then watch out for the Basilisk. They will be back. And then we're going to move on to the next area. Which is very dark <laughs> it's actually it's not a bad area at all um, definitely not not a bad one at all undead crypt I think it is undead crypt yeah 
can't believe I got slammed on twice. Twice by these guys. Now there is one of these big guys. Watch out at the back there. There is a drop as well. You can just see it to the right. One of these big ones. Don't move around so much with this one. Again, you're alright if you just kind of fall off the stairs a bit. But yeah, watch out on the edges. It's best just to take the damage from him than it is to try and roll out the way, to be honest. Now, big old lift ride all the way down. I'm going to cut this out again. And then we'll be at the bonfire in the uh, undead crypt. Nothing down here. Kaboom! <laughs> the scholar is back. Um, yeah, just exhausted dialogue. It do, I don't think it even matters what you say to him. Say yes or no. I've, I've done both. I don't make a difference, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, just go through the dialogue. I'm just going to skip really quickly through this. Do yes or no. I think I do no this time. Uh, yeah, he's the names namesake. The game's namesake. Scholar of the First Sin. This is the, the guy. Oh, I don't even know where his eyes are. It's just a mass. <laughs> we'll be seeing him again. Right, let's get out of here. Back to my jeweler. That's this video done. I'm just going to go and do some cleanup. So, leveling. Seeing if we can do some upgrades. I'm going to purchase uh, quite a lot. So I'm going to be fully. Uh, my armor is going to be fully upgraded to the point of titanite chunks across the board. Uh, so yeah, I've just got the one there and then one there. So I'm out of titanite chunks. Uh, but I'll go and purchase some of the um, the shards and the large. I didn't actually need any large shards. I didn't think I had any, but I didn't need any. So yeah, I would usually count exactly how many I need, but for the sake of doing it in the video. Just get exactly what I need, uh, what I think I need. And uh, I didn't need any. I, bought, I think I bought 10 and I'm left with 10, so I, I literally didn't need to buy any. Uh, yeah, so we've got that up there fully. One, two, three. No, so there's quite a few. <laughs> there's definitely more. I definitely didn't need to buy any. I'm not going to use them ever again. Just gonna check what he actually has for sale. No chunks, unfortunately. I thought he might have just the one. He does not. Uh, yeah, and I'm just gonna level up the usual suspects. Strength up to 40. Uh, and then endurance. Vitality, I don't need to do anymore. Just endurance. Right, that's it for this one. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.